I know this figure came out a couple of months ago. I know this figure came out last year, and this ain't nothing but a simple repaint. But be be honest with you, I like this repaint more than I like the original figure. Uh, this is the Immortal Kombat 11 Spawn. Uh, it's kind of got like a process blue with a gray, and I think it's dope. I guess it's a different skin uh, from the Mortal Kombat game. I haven't physically played Mortal Kombat in God knows when. Probably since it was in the arcade in the 90s. Um, maybe early 2000s, man. But my little cousin likes to play it. Uh, he's like eight years younger than me, and they enjoy it. They, I, they play Mortal Kombat 9, 10, I guess 11 is out now. Uh, but it's, it's it's pretty dope, man. So I just want to crack this thing open, man. And like I said, the, the type of show I have, I'm not going to go through and tell you, hey, this has a paint chip here. I'm going to tell you if the shit is worth buying or not. Uh, did I enjoy it? Um, uh, do, does it suck? Uh, what's an awesome thing about it? You're going to get my natural reaction because uh, I have piles of loot at, at, at Big Bad Toy Store. And this is one that came in on the pile of loot. Uh, it's probably been sitting up there for about three months. Uh, pretty much ever since it was released. So I have the original, but I have the one with the mace and I have the one with the axe. I never got to get the original original with the sword. Um, McFarlane kind of turned me off in the beginning with his uh, releases of uh, that Batman. And I, I really wasn't liking it. I wasn't feeling that. And I didn't like that they hopped to 7 inch. So when I seen the Mortal Kombat figures in GameStop... I would pass them over, so I'm pretty sure I passed over the one with the sword, which is cool. This is the same exact figure. It's just a repaint. So uh, I'm going to take this thing off camera, man, get it busted open, and then uh, I'm going to go over it. I'm going I'm, I'm to see how I like it. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have him out the package. And, man, I've been trying to search on the box and stuff, and I've watched... Other reviewers say the name of this skin, but I'm gonna call it the Carolina Panther skin. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I like I say, I, it's everything that I expected. Um, it's everything that that I was looking for. Basically, it's the same exact figure. Um, it has like a process blue look to it, but when you kind of look closely to it, when you see it in person, it almost has like a teal, almost like a charlotte hornets color so uh, it, it, that, i'm gonna call this the carolina uh spawn which i'm from north carolina i'm a huge uh panthers fan uh charlotte hornets suck but i'm gonna still run with the home team all day but it has beautiful colorway i love it i love the way that blue goes up against that dark gray uh with the with the light gray cape the only thing i hate about this spawn figure from the same thing from the last one is the cape is so stiff i hate a a, a stiff cape um I'm almost kind of wishing they, it, if it would be cheaper to give them a cloth one. But as far as the schematics of this whole figure and how it looks and the stance on it, the, the rubber cape, uh, the plastic cape looks good. Um, I'm a huge uh, Spawn fan. Uh, when the Spawn original line came out in the 90s, those were magnificent looking toys, but I, I never brought them. Um, I was pretty much stuck on my toys from the youth and... You know, I was kind of more comic book shopping then, but Spawn's always been my guy. Um, I had a Spawn number one ever since I was a young a young kid. Huge uh, uh, fan of the Spawn uh, cartoon that came on HBO was, was magnificent. That was a masterpiece. That was before his time. Uh, to be honest with you, that, that, that right there was better than the movie, especially in the part where he took Overt Kill and just broke him down into pieces and sent him back in a car to... Uh, I think Fat Tony, the mob boss, or whatnot, but just a dope, dope concept. Um, and then Spawn is also I'm not I'm not saying he's the first black superhero, but he was the first kind of modern black superhero I had seen. Cause I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but most most superheroes were you know of a Caucasian descent. But just to see him and he that he was a black man, it was like whoa, that's dope. And then he had a movie on top of that, which the movie was was decent. I was a I was a kid. I was like 12 or 13 when it came out, but it should have been rated R. This is an awesome figure, man. Um let let me bring it in a little closer so you guys can see the face on there. But the, the paint on here is just beautiful. I mean, that is just a good sculpt on the face there. Like his eyes. You can see the mouth through the mask, which is a dead carcass looking face because he's dead 
Oh, Al Simmons. Then you see this cape, which cape is dope. But like I said, it's it's a it's a pliable plastic. It's just it's just it's, I I hate I hate a stiff cape. I think I think the cape hinders it. I think the, the cape hinders it from being an an, an A plus figure. And that's what the hell it is. That that's that's the thing that 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 that, that holds me up uh, with this figure and 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 Tom Fong. The, the, I knew there was something. The cape. If it did not have that cape, or that cape was made in a different way, this would be an A plus figure. But the cape hinders it. Um, with most McFarlane figures, they come with a stand. I'm like, oh, it's stupid stand. I'm not going to use it. But hey, now that I started reviewing action figures, it actually comes in handy to help me. And I don't know, some people, some people uh, need need it, you know, or whatnot. But I, most of the time, I try to pose my my action figures up just freestanding on their own will. If they can't stand up on their own will, then they don't need to stand with me. Articulation. He has double jointed elbows. Um, he can basically take the sword, scratch his back with it, man. So, he, he looks good. Double jointed. So, he can kick his butt. He can definitely look like he's about to uh, kick a field goal or maybe do a kickoff. So, he can move as uh, far as his leg out. Actually goes out pretty far. Oh, actually goes out pretty nice. So he can do like a little Chung Lee kick. Let me see if I can get him to stand up. Ankle feels a little weak. Let's see if I can get him to do this on camera. Yeah. So he can get busy. He can do a Chung Lee. And that's, of course he has a stand. I probably could have freaked it without it, but. Uh, <laughs> it spoke too soon. Is he worth the money? Yes. He's only cost 20 bucks. I believe he's still. Uh, up on a uh, big bad toy store uh, site. Nobody, nobody's really talked about him this summer. I guess because it's just a repaint. But like I said, this show is for me. This is for show. Uh, it's it's for everybody who's in the action figures. I'm not with the latest greatest. I like I said, I like this one better than the original. Um, I, I'm not gonna go do too deep into it because I know everybody's probably seen it a thousand times. But for somebody who hasn't, or somebody who was interested, or somebody who forgot, like I forgot about the black and yellow one. Or the gray and yellow one. So, you know, you might be combing through, man. It's worth the money. Pick it up. If you're in the spawn, it's so up to date. The best spawn figure with this mold. This mold right here, no matter what uh, color that comes out, it's the best uh, spawn figure up to date. Uh, and I also have that gunslinger. So, I don't know. That, that, that might take the cake. But that's essentially the same thing. It just, instead of a cape, he has a coat on. And that coat looks stiff, too. <laughs> And I don't think we need to go think about as far as paint, because like I said, there's going to be imperfections, man. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and critique something to death, and at the end of the day, it's a damn toy. So it's, it's going to happen to you. If you got kids, they're going to get a hold of them. If one of them going to bite his head off, they're going to throw it through a window, they're going to do something. So something's going to happen to it. So I'm not going to get that pressed over things that small. Like I said, I just, I, Shardimus Prime said we're in a golden age of action figures, and it is. And I feel blessed that I got back into it around this time because these are some of the best things I've ever seen in my life. And I have over a thousand action figures and every piece that I picked up is better than a piece that I've had when I was a kid. And if it was a remake of something I was a kid, uh, that I had when I was a kid, it has been put on level 100. So you know I am a Spawn fan and that's what attracts me to this figure. Not because I play Mortal Kombat, it's because I'm a Spawn fan. Uh, I'm a Al Simmons fan. You feel me? So uh, yeah, there you have it, man. It's a it's a, it's a it's a B plus figure. If you got the money, buy it. And one more thing before we go, I just uh, just thought I'd just kind of show you guys uh, pretty much how a seven inch figure sits on that bat cycle. Um, if you watch my 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 bat cycle uh, episode, uh, I've had a I had a Mafex or I like to say Mafex. Uh, Batman Dark Knight on that bike and he was picture perfect on that bike and this is why a reason I told you this cape hinders this figure and gives it a B plus look like look like he's sitting on that you know it looks it looks it looks generic you know I don't like it you know I, I like the way the Batman was sitting he was able to sit fully down with his cape flying because it was a wired fabric cape uh, and then I truly I truly take McFarlane's figures me uh vehicles and I use them for my 112 figures. I I I never thought they looked right with the uh seven inch figures. Like that Batman I had on there, he looked perfect. So as you can see here, this figure fits it, and of course on the other side he can't fit because that big boot he has around his ankle. Uh, but the cape, and even if he didn't have the cape, I don't think he could 
move his body and, and crunch his ab enough to look to sit right on that bike like how that Moffex Dark Knight did because Moffex moves, uh, Mafex moves, um, it, they just move so freely. Um, it's definitely a treat when you have one of those in your hand. I, I still don't think it should cost that much a bill, a hundred dollars for a figure, but when you do get it, you will tell the difference, man. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. So, all right, you guys take care. Peace.